This is part two in the final part on creating snap together plastic parts. Welcome to another episode. So in this episode, I'm going to finish making the snap together plastic parts by making the second mold. The second mold is the part that has two holes in it that are tapered. In other words, they have draft on them so that the pins can snap into those holes. So let's get started. From my uh, previous episode, I realized that I could mill both of the halves at the same time. So I'm using G54 on the left, which is farthest from the camera, and G55 on the right. So I'm setting the zero. And then when I do the milling, it mills the one half, uh, basically G54 first. It completes that, and then it goes on to G55. So here you can see that it's milling the, uh, the first half and it's doing the usual cutting of holes, uh, cutting the, the cavity, etc. And then once it finishes all of this, then it will move to the other side. Right here you're seeing it uh, using a small cutter, I think it's 1 16th inch in diameter. So at this point it's finished with that side and now it's going to move to the other side where it will uh, first deck off the top and then it's going to do the other parts of that half of the mold. It's using a 1 32nd inch diameter ball end mill to clean up the sides of the cavity uh, running at uh, 30,000 RPM. And now it's all done and I just love how quickly this thing moves when it's uh, doing rapids. Okay, <clears throat> so I just finished the core in the cavity uh, in one operation. How cool is that? So now it's uh, time to take it to the injection molding machine and uh, give it a try. All right, let's see how it uh, turns out. Now this one I expect will come out fairly easily because it's uh, symmetric, so I should be able to just grab it, yep, and pull it out like this. So I'll make a few more parts, and then I'm going to take it inside and uh, see if the snap fit works. That sound you're hearing is me putting in some more plastic into the, uh, the hopper. So you can see that once you get into a rhythm, um, I should be able to make parts uh, very quickly because this comes out so easily. By the way, one of the things I did since the last video is I had a little bit of a knob on uh, one side so I can tell which is the top and which is the bottom. This is just a test mold. And it's, it's basically to test the, uh, the clip mechanism. So there really is no uh, reason it needs to be the shape. It could have been uh, just a straight rectangle, but why not? Now the other thing I'm seeing in here is I'm seeing some streaking and that's because the plastic has, I have not dried it. I'm basically using mostly what was already in the barrel. Okay, that's plenty for testing. So I just turn the machine off. I'm going to let it cool down. I have the window uh, behind me that way uh, open to let the fumes out. One of the things I want to do at some point is to build a, a hood above to uh, evacuate the, the fumes. Now I have uh, some of each of the parts 
So the part with the tab and the part with the, the holes that are tapered. So let's see what happens. I'm going to just do one of them. So I'm going to take it right there and uh, push. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's a perfect fit. Amazing. And I can take it apart, put it back together, and it's a beautiful fit. I'm just so happy. Now let me try it this way. So before I do that, I want to get rid of these, uh, the sprue. So I'll just clip those off of two of these. And then put these together. Oh, that is so beautiful. Just a very satisfying feel, or sound, I should say. And then to pull them apart. Oh, that is perfect. I'm amazed that I got it on the first try. I had fully expected this episode to be a possibly part two of part three or a fairly long episode because I didn't think it was going to work the first try or certainly not anywhere near as well as it did. So I'm quite happy and surprised that it worked on the first time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please give me a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. See you next time.